from the Algarve region of Portugal, welcome back to Studio 90. The training is almost done and it's almost go time for the U.S. women's soccer team. We'll open the Algarve Cup on Leap Day against Denmark. We talked to U.S. head coach Pia Sundhaga and several U.S. players about facing the always difficult Danes. Well, this is one of the biggest tournaments that we play in every year. You have uh, you know, eight of the top teams. It's a 12-team tournament. Um, you, you have the, the winners of last year's World Cup. You have Japan. You have Germany, one of the top ranked teams in the world. You have, of course, the United States. And you have, you have Den Denmark, Norway, Sweden, all top contenders in last year's World Cup, all going to be, most of them, going to be uh, great contenders in the Olympics this summer. Uh, you know, I think uh, we put in a lot of good training sessions. We're prepared and uh, ready to play Denmark tomorrow. Um, they're a very talented team, a good team. Um, you know, they were close to qualifying for this World Cup. So, uh, you know, it should be a good game and a good opponent for us to face. Denmark is always a challenge. I remember playing them back in 2005 in the Algarve Cup when we kind of overlooked them. They came out strong. Um, they probably should have won that game. Um, and ever since then, we, we've gained a lot of respect for the team. They play balls over the top, they're hard, they're athletic, they're probably one of the most athletic teams like the Americans. Um, but now they're starting to play more, so you're going to see a, a little bit more style of play through the midfield, but then they're still going to be looking to beat us with a through ball over the top. The challenges that they're going to pose for us is probably going to play a high, high three front. Uh, our back line is going to be challenged a little bit. Uh, and it just gives us a chance to play a, a good European team. They barely missed the World Cup. And I think that's a, it's a World Cup caliber team, something that will give us more opportunities to work on the things that we need to work on. I think going into every game we're um, you know, trying to improve and grow as a team and uh, Denmark is a good challenge for us to start this tournament off. Um, we want to you know, do well, we want to go out there and play the game we've been uh, preparing to play, You know, the style we want to play, but uh, in the end we want to get a win. They are good on the ball so they're knocking around a little bit and they're a little bit tricky so uh, we have to be very compact in defending. And at the same time, when our transition, uh, where if and when they put pressure on us, uh, a little bit of composure and change the point of attack and, you know, recognize when we should penetrate. That would be a good game. Well, you know, we're four or five months out away, away from the Olympics and Pia's got to figure out where people's roles are going are gonna to settle down into. And this tournament's one of those great tournaments that you get a lot of games in a short amount of days, so you got to get a lot of players on the field, give those players some experience. Um, of course, you want to make it to the final and win the tournament, but above all else, we want to keep growing as a team, uh, work on the things that, that challenge us, and the teams that we face in this tournament give us problems, and uh, they make us uh, have higher standards and hopefully get those younger players the experience they need. We look at the four games now because uh, in the way that we want to give place, uh, players uh, playing time. We do have a lot of outside uh, midfielders, but they are good and they are very different. So they need not only play 20 minutes here and there, they need 45 minutes or maybe 90 minutes. So this is a start and it will be Look, it will look different the next game and the game after that. So we give the players a fair chance to, to perform mm, 75, 90 minutes. You can follow USA versus Denmark as the USA opens the Algarve Cup on USSoccer.com's Match Tracker and our Twitter account at USSoccer underscore WNT.